The site shows the positions of the two Pennsylvania Senate candidates, major party Senate candidates, and the two major party presidential candidates, and their views on a range of about a dozen different issues related to sustainability. The motto for the Environmental Law Center at Widener University Law School is Law for Sustainability because the people who we elect to, Senate and to, to the Senate and, and to the presidency have an enormous impact on the laws that get made and implemented. We thought it would be appropriate to inform voters about their positions on those particular issues. Mainly, I was always interested in environmental law, but the first year of law school is pretty generic, so I thought it was a really good way to kind of get my feet wet and see uh, different aspects of the law that I hadn't known much about. Um, and it was really a good learning experience to see what the different candidates stand for. Um, what drew me to this project was working on something that doesn't get as much attention in the media as it should. Um, so being able to actually add to that, to add to the discussion, um, was very rewarding and uh, learning about the candidates' positions. Uh, what drew me to it was I also had an interest in environmental law. I took classes in undergrad about it, and I really wanted to do something with environment in law school, but I didn't know how to start, and I thought this would be a good start. And it really helped me understand like where the candidates came out on the issues, and it was, it was a great learning experience for me. I was interested in it for the reasons everyone else has stated, and also because I love politics, so I liked I wanted to look into something that was different, that wasn't very popular. Well, a lot of the lessons that we learned when we did this in 2010 uh, were lessons that we learned actually before, uh, as, as we conceptualized and designed the project. Uh, and, and those include the importance of keeping the, the statements brief and factual, and providing a citation, uh, a web citation or a link uh, to the uh, particular sites from which the information was gathered. Uh, that was something that we, I talked to a great many people about as we went into the 2010 project, and we basically employed the same basic methodology this time. Uh, I researched Mitt Romney. I think the thing that surprised me the most was how drastically his policies have changed since the time he was governor versus the platform he's running on now. Um, but other than that, I was actually surprised about how much information there was and how extensive the policies were on the environment. Uh, what I think surprised me most was, again, like how Camille said, there was so much information. I wasn't expecting there to be a lot. And the information that they had was very detailed. It actually was confusing at times because I didn't understand like the intricacies of all the policies that I was reading about. So I had to like try to like learn it as I went along and write like a concise statement of what his policies are. And there was a lot of detailed information. And I was surprised that they like look at so many different aspects that I never even thought of. And I was also surprised at how many different websites I found that had very conflicting uh, information. So I tried to stick to government websites or reputable sources. I think what surprised me the most was how sided everything was. Um, like one political party would be very specifically going for one sort of environmental law, like green energy, and then the other political party would be against it. And I didn't realize how political environmental law could be. Um, I think what I'll take away is just that the important uh, the environment is an important aspect of the political debate. Uh, I think it is often overshadowed, but it's also really important to look at those things to decide who you're going to vote for. Uh, the biggest thing I'm going to take away from this project is the ability to um, research issues that I may feel like learning about and being able to actually um, learn candidates' positions more than merely what they're telling you. The biggest thing I think I'm going to take away from this is also being able to research the candidates. I wasn't as informed as I should have been in previous years, and now it's given me a way to like 
make sure I could research the candidate I might want to vote for and really learn what how they stand on environmental issues because I really do think they are important. The thing that I'll take away from here is that there's so many different environmental law issues that it's important to know really what's going on in the world and that there's in the future this will be very important to bring up like Wally when we're not going to have like the same things that we have today. I think that voters will get a very nonpartisan, informative um, way of deciding who to vote for. I think it provides a lot of information that people probably wouldn't go out and find on their own. So I think it's a good, easy way to make a decision based on that. Uh, I think the um, biggest um, benefit to voters just short conciseness of this um, of our project and so if you're someone that cares about this issue and this is a good um, this is a good area to go and learn about candidates positions I also think it's a very easy way for them to get the basic information that's really important like instead of getting all the detailed stuff like I had to learn as I went along voters aren't gonna take the time to really research in depth and this just gives like a basic overview of how they come out on the issues the very important issues so that people can make a decision based on that I agree with what everyone else said it's an easy concise guide for voters to look at before they go to the election that's that's exactly what we were, we're attempting to do I think another way of saying this is that for a lot of people, sustainability is just another word for green or environmental. And what we wanted to do with the website was show that when we're talking about sustainability, we're talking about how you make economic development, uh, job creation and social well-being and environmental protection work together. And so the slant in this particular site is, is, is directed at that particular approach. Uh, and that's something that uh, from the standpoint of the motto of the center, law for sustainability, but also public education about sustainability is something that we thought was, was an important thing to do. I would probably just say that I found it very rewarding and I definitely feel that I'm a much more knowledgeable voter now. Um, I think it's important not to just take what you get from the ads and the political propaganda, if you want to call it that. But, um, so I just feel much more informed when I'm making my choice in November. Uh, yeah, going off what Professor Dernbach said, it's, sustainability is a lot more than just about green energy. It's uh, really a sense how to make you know, business and everything else work with a sustainable environment. And so um, hopefully people will see that from the website. Um, I agree with what they said. Basically, it's it's an important issue, and I became more informed by you in this, and I had a lot of fun researching it. Like people wouldn't think that it would be fun, but I did because I actually learned more about the issue, and I had previously wanted to learn more, so it was like a win-win for me. Um, I think what to take away from this is that there's more than just the economy to talk about in the debates, and that. Um, Sustainability and environmental issues should be brought to the forefront as well.